Hello again guys and welcome back to a brand new video with me Tom from The Honest Meeple. Today we are going to be unboxing a brand new game which is available for pre-order now on their website. It is The Alpha from Games by Bicycle. Let's see what's inside. So you join me at the table where we are going to unbox the Alpha from uh, Games by Bicycle. Um, Bicycle being the company behind the ever popular playing cards. Now, myself, as a magician, swear by bicycle playing cards. I have become very accustomed to bicycle playing cards over the years. Um, they are the best playing cards, in my opinion, by far. So I was intrigued when I saw that Bicycle were producing some strategy games. These are, uh, as shown on the box, a light strategy game by Bicycle. Now, what is the Alpha about? You are essentially leading a wolf pack into territory to claim it. Um, you've got to hunt prey, search for food, and um, you will then enter conflict um, with a, a kind of another pack um, to kind of raid your dominance. Um, uh, if it happens, you'll obviously have to decide whether you want to risk injuring by fighting um, uh, with your pack or giving up uh, and unfortunately losing your spoils in terms of your food um, and kind of leaving the region. Um, now you, you've got a variety of actions here, you can stalk, chase, resolve um, and advance, um, that's the four stages of the hunt um, as shown on the back here. So I'll read these for you, so stalk, you send your wolves to hunt in various regions of the forest and outnumber rival packs to become dominant in the area. You then move on to the chase where you'll roll the dice for the region to determine the success of the hunt. You'll then resolve, where you enter conflict and decide whether to fight or share the food with other packs in the region. And then finally you will advance, you'll move your wolf on the food track to indicate the amount of food secured during the hunt. Um, so this is kind of a, um, I guess, uh, an element of kind of area influence, area majority. Um, there is also kind of a, a prisoner's dilemma um, mechanic in this game as well. It's suitable for 10 play, uh, ten. 10 years and up, it plays um, in about 45 minutes and is suitable for three to six players. So let's open the box and see what we get inside. Um, I mean, it's been been a while since I've opened a pack of playing cards from Bicycle, so it's nice to open a game. Um, so you've got this awesome... I, I, I will just go back to the, the, the box. The, the box has spot UV on it, but the artwork is stunning. Uh, I really do like the theme. The theme itself is cool, but the artwork definitely expresses that incredibly well. Um, so you've got the instructions for the alpha. Um, so very easy, very simple to read rule book. You've got the objective, how to win the game, the components and the setup, which is what you'd expect to find at the front of a rule book, which is good. Um, you've then got the phases of round A and then kind of progressing turns after that. Um, as mentioned, you've kind of got the stalk, establish dominance, chase, resolve, and advance. There is not a lot of information there, which is good, which means you're not going to be reading a rule book for ages. This is going to be quite a light strategy game, as shown on the front. Um, so don't worry, there's not going to be many rules to read, which is always a bonus for me. I like getting straight into a game. Um, so I'm going to punch these out, because these are cool. So these are the animals. Um, you've got the elk. Got the caribou. Um, these are, I'm guessing, these are actions. So these are scavenge actions there, as you can see. You then have fish, a beaver, and hare, as well as livestock. So you've got a big livestock token there. And then on top of that, you've got the hare, the beaver and the fish. I like how these are actually, um, <laughs> that's really neat actually, I do like that. So the, these tokens, these boards are actually kind of indicative of the size of the animal. So the fish, the beaver and the hare are quite small animals, so they're the smallest tiles. You've then got the elk and the caribou which are slightly larger and then you've got the biggest prey, the, the bison and the moose. Um, and they are shown as the biggest board. Oh, wow, they're double-sided. I didn't see that. So on the other side, you've got carrion. There. 
just the uh, the skeleton with the crow. Um, so yeah, they're they're the biggest boards. So I'll leave those there. Uh, you then have the deer, which falls in with the elk and the caribou size. And then you have these tokens here. Now these are used in the, I believe it's in the kind of the, the share, uh, the resolve, um, is it the resolve phase? Yeah, so you, you decide whether you want to share your food or whether you want to fight and take people's food. I am quite aggressive in games um, in terms of my moves and turns, not in, not in terms of me shouting at people. Um, so yeah, fight is definitely my sort of uh, move forward, telling people how I play. Goodness, you beat me in no time at all. Um, you then have this, which I'm guessing is going to be the round marker because it says weeks left. We'll have a look at the board in a minute and see where that goes on. And this is the first player marker. Awesome. Okay, oh wow. Oh, right, very nice insert. I'm a big fan of that insert. So I'm going to move this here so I can open up the board. Um, so it's one long board, as you can see there. Get it all in frame. So you've got, as I say, there we are, the weeks, the weeks left track, which is kind of the, the, the round track. You've got near forest and deep forest, which where the animals are going to be. You've then got injured and healing. Um, I'm going to guess that's where these go um, because you're going to be injuring them throughout the game, I'd imagine. Um, let's open this up as well. Okay, so these are the player boards. So you've got the, the conflict results table on there and the den, which is kind of like your base. Um, so I'll read these for you. Oh, if it's going to focus on it, there we go. Um, so if you all say share, if you all decide to share, you'll distribute food one unit at a time to share packs, starting with the alpha or nearest in clockwise order. If you all fight, one wolf from each fight pack is injured and cannot hunt in the next round. Um, the fight pack gets all the food from the region if there's a fight and a share. However, if there's um, more fight than share, one wolf from each fight pack is injured and cannot hunt in the next round. Um, and then if there's more share, I think, it, you distribute food one unit at a time, starting with the alpha. Um, so yeah, that gives you a quick reference guide as to how that works. I'll spread those along there. And then we have, ooh, right. Uh, we'll start with the custom dice because I'm a sucker for custom dice. Nicely coloured dice, any different dice I'm a fan of. As you can see there, you've got all the different dice there. I'll just check the rule book and see where these dice, so these are region dice, these are gonna dictate um, which regions we're going into. then have these are the alpha pairs and then you've got the beta walls so silica gel don't eat that um, so these are the alpha pairs and the beta walls are in the other packet there we are they're really nice wooden tokens and I like the colours. Sometimes you can have a beautifully illustrated game and then you'll find that actually they've decided to use garish colours um, for the player tokens or different different kind of um, components in the game. These are really nicely done. Even the lime green colour, kind of it, it's not too wah. Um, so yeah, definitely in keeping with the theme. So yes, that is everything you will find in the Alpha, which is a light strategy game from Bicycle. Um, I hope you've enjoyed this unboxing. Um, I hope you like what you see. I certainly do, and I'm really excited to try this game out. And this is available for pre-order now on their website. I'll pop the link down in the description below, so do go check it out. Um, they do have another game coming, which I'm also going to be doing an unboxing on. It is 
Exchange, um, which also looks like a very interesting strategy game. Um, I'll be unboxing that, um, so that video will be somewhere on my channel, so do keep your eyes peeled for that. Um, if you've liked what you see, please pop a like down below and subscribe to the channel if you can. And that just leaves me to say thank you very much for watching, and as always guys, I'll see you all next time.